welcome back in this session we are going to see about the total internal reflection see in previous uh, classes we learned about the uh, reflection and during reflection what happens is if you see the image the image intensity will gradually decreases for the first reflection and for the second or fourth or fifth if you see the intensity of the image the intensity of the image will increase sorry decrease gradually but coming to this total internal reflection there will be no loss of intensity of the image so as it is a uh, total internal reflection there will be no loss of intensity in image so so this is a denser medium this is a denser medium and this is a rarer medium here there is a source of light and from this source of light a ray is instantiated from the denser medium so this is the normal and as the ray is traveling from optically denser medium to rarer medium the ray will bend away from the normal so this is the angle of incidence psi and this is the angle of refra refraction r and if you consider one more ray from the source this ray and this is the normal this is the incident ray and this ray will travel through the interface that means here it is making a angle 90 degrees in rarer medium so this is the angle of refraction and this is the angle of incident when the refracted ray is making some angle 90 degrees with the normal in rarer medium then the incident angle is called as critical angle theta c means critical angle we call this as critical angle when we call that a critical angle the ray have to travel from denser to rarer and in rarer medium the ray have to make the angle 90 degrees then we call the incident angle as critical angle and now if you consider one more ray the ray which is having more angle than the critical angle this ray is traveling like this and this is the normal and this ray will reflect back again into the denser medium see here this is the angle of incidence and here we find no refraction takes place as the ray is reflecting back totally into denser medium we call this as total internal reflection this we call as total internal reflection when a ray will have total internal reflection if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle then the ray will reflect totally so that we call as total internal reflection so critical angle means the ray have to travel from denser medium and in rarer medium it have to make an angle 90 degrees then the incident angle we call as critical angle and here for total internal reflection there are some conditions the conditions are the ray how to travel from optically denser medium see here the ray is traveling from optically denser medium towards rarer medium and the angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle then only the total internal reflection takes place so these are the two conditions the ray how to travel from optically denser to rarer medium and the angle of incidence should be greater than critical angle then only total internal reflection takes place 
and due to this total internal reflection we can uh, talk so many uh, consequences there are so many consequences consequences of total internal reflection so coming to this consequences the air bubble if you see a air bubble the air bubbles appear shiny why the air bubble shines air bubbles air bubble shine due to total internal reflection due to total internal reflection air bubble shines and diamond glitters see uh, that we call as brilliance of diamond if you see diamond if any small light incident on the diamond it starts to uh, glitter like anything so the brilliance of diamond the brilliance of diamond is due to this total internal reflection only see and the critical angle the critical angle of diamond is 24 degree see this will have very less critical angle so what happens is due to its less critical angle the number of rays or more maximum number of rays will participate in total internal reflection so due to the total internal reflection number of rays participating in total internal reflection the diamond have that much of brilliance that is due to its lower critical angle value and uh, due to that the total number of rays many rays will participate in total internal reflection and due to that shape also the diamonds the diamond have so many cuts so due to that also and due to this total internal reflection there will be uh, a such brilliance of diamond takes place and next looming we can observe looming uh, looming means see in cold countries the images are formed for example if in a cold country you are standing at a seashore and observing a ship and we can observe the image of this ship uh, as it is suspended in air so actually the ship will come on water but we may observe that the ship is suspending on the air and it is coming towards us so that is the image of the ship which will be in air so that is also due to this total internal reflection and mirages mirages are formed in deserts and in hot summer days also we may observe on roads uh, a water appears at the far distance from us but actually if you go near there there will be no water so that means uh, a brightness appears to us see mirage is an optical illusion actually there will be no water or uh, nothing will be there but it, it is only a optical illusion so due to that optical illusion it appears such that a water is present at a far off a distance but if you go near there will be no water so that we call as mirage and this mirage is also due to total internal reflection and if you consider a glass of water and if you observe the top layer upper layer of water that upper layer if you held above the eye level then we can observe that the eye uh, upper level of water appears silvery so why it appears means that is also due to that uh, total internal reflection only upper layer of water which is held above the eye level yeah above eye level he appears silvery that is due to total internal reflection so these all are consequences of total internal reflection and next if you consider the most important thing basing on this uh, principle total internal reflection optical fibers are worked see optical fibers are uh, 
very thin fibers optical fibers or very thin fibers uh, they are having a radius of 10 to the power of minus 6 meter that means micrometer and such all thin fibers will make a light pipe see these optical fibers are made up of glass or plastic and they are having a radius of 10 to the power of minus 6 meter that means micrometer and if you observe the optical fiber the optical fiber has three layers <coughs> the upper layer is called as protective layer so what it do is it protects the inner layers and the optical fibers which are inside uh, with uh, without any damage or anything so that's why we call this as upper la uh, upper layer or protective layer and down this also is a protective layer and in middle we have core and here we have cladding and bottom also we have cladding here core has a refractive index as well as a cladding also has some refractive index if you consider the cladding refractive index as 1 and core refractive index as 2 definitely the core refractive index will be greater than cladding refractive index that means core is the denser medium and cladding is the rarer medium and a ray which is incident uh, through this core and it will be incident that greater than critical angle whenever a ray is incident on the core greater than critical angle what happens if a ray which is having a more angle than critical angle that ray will totally internal reflection takes place for that ray and again here also so like that the wave will keep on moving from one place to another place and not only one wave uh, another wave is also sent but here no wave will be interfered that means one wave will not interfere with another wave so such the, in such that way the uh, waves or the waves are sent through the core and the total internal reflection takes place inside the optical fiber and these optical fibers are uh, very well used in a communication purpose for communication purpose such as uh, to transmit the sound waves and signals see uh, the sound waves will travel for very long several kilometers without loss of any intensity as the application inside this optical fiber is a total internal reflection there will be no loss of any intensity it can travel for several lakhs of kilometers without loss of any intensity and not only sound waves we can send a light waves light wave can be sent through this optical fiber sound waves and as well as data is also transmitted from one place to another place so the main thing is there will be no loss of intensity as the total internal reflection is taking place and there will be no interference interference of the two waves or intersecting of two waves is not uh, possible here so due to that the optical fibers are uh, very well useful in the communication purpose and for the medical investigation also these optical fibers are used these optical fibers are used to investigate the to uh, view the internal organs internal organs with a uh, in such a type like laparoscope and endoscopy so laparoscopy and endoscopy uh, this uh, optical fibers are used and these optical fibers are used as sensors they are used as sensors and these optical fibers are also uh, used to find the refractive indices of different liquids to find the refractive indices of different liquids these optical fibers are used and these optical fibers are used to measure the flow of blood in the heart so in heart blood flow will be there no that can be determined by using these optical fibers so in that way the optical fibers are very much helpful and the main principle that the optical fibers work is total internal reflection 